and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can get started with VRTK V4 by installing the Tilia package importer and then using that within Unity. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. We will begin by creating a new Unity project. I've got Unity Hub open and I've selected the editor version to be 22.2.11f1 and in the project settings I'll give my project a name. And then we click create project. This will then load the Unity software with our newly created project. When Unity opens we now need to import the Tilia package manager from the Unity asset store. So bring up your web browser and go to the Unity asset store at assetstore.unity.com and then in search for assets we go to search for VRTK and then we should see the VRTK v4 package importer asset and we can click on that and then all we need to do is click open in unity then you will see the VRTK v4 package importer show up in your unity package manager if you haven't already downloaded this you'll get a download button so you can download it to your package manager and then when it's downloaded, you can click import. You may then get the warning, this Unity package has package manager dependencies. Just click on install upgrade. Then you will see the import Unity package window. You want everything selected from the VRTK v4 Tilia package importer and just click import. And once that's imported, we can close down our package manager window. And we now have the VRTK v4 package importer asset installed. We can access this asset by going to window and then down to Tilia and then to package importer and by default your project won't contain the scoped registry required for the Tilia packages so we just need to click add scoped registry and when that is added we'll get the project settings window appear and it will tell us a new scoped registry has been imported. We can close that window and we can see our scoped registry has been imported here. We can now close the project settings window. And there we go, we've set up the Tilia package importer and now we're ready to start using Tilia packages to build our VRTK solutions. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and consider joining the VRTK Discord at community.vrtk.io. Thanks for watching and bye for now.